Hey guys, I'm going to be working on my door again today. Uh, this morning I worked on my painting for a couple hours and uh, it's so beautiful out. It says, I got to get out. This is crazy. I'm going to frame it out and I'm going to make a shelf underneath it. Underneath the, uh, the vintage stained glass that is. Okay, so I, I, I've got some wood here that I had in the basement. Uh, let me show you that now. Okay, so this is the dental that uh, was up in my uh, in the drop ceiling in my living room that I, that I took off and uh, then I reused again with the vaulted ceiling that I made. Okay, so that, this is what I'm gonna use underneath the shelf, like this. Okay. Now this here, these two pieces are the same, although one's much darker. This is a poplar wood, and it's a stock frame. All right. So as you can see here, this is a stock frame. I'm going to cut this down to about an inch and a half, and this will be the top of the frame. Uh, it, it kind of have like almost like a canopy look, and and, and the sides will be kind of plain. I'll probably cut it in between here and here and use this piece on the sides. This I'll use on the top at about an inch and a half. And then I'll figure out the shelf from there. So I'm going to be using my saw, my table saw, my portable table saw, and I'm going to start cutting and uh, start rocking and rolling. I'm going to set it at about an inch and a half for the top. That should be enough. The top should be a little thicker, so I'm thinking maybe two inches. Let's do two inches. All right, we're gonna set it at two inches, and we're gonna start ripping it. Here we go. Okay, so I cut most of the trim out, so let me give you an idea of uh, how I want it to look. This bottom piece here will be the shelf that the frame sits on. You can see right here, that's the top part. Right there, all the way down. Now, the frame itself is going to go in a quarter inch inside the window right now where I had the trim because I'm thinking of putting a uh, quarter inch glass there, solid glass. So I'd have a double, kind of like a double pane glass. So that's where I'm at. I'm gonna probably add more trim down here and across, maybe underneath a small little trim in between the two, give it a little more oomph, and that's it. That's where I'm at. Okay, so I'm here. That's the knocker. Okay, so I'm here in the doorway, and I'm going to start putting the sides on. Uh, I'm using uh, carpenter's glue first, and then I'm going to pin it. That's where I'm at. Okay, so I'm done. Getting it in, tapping it in, uh, making sure it all fits properly. I wanted to give it that vintage uh, craftsman style look. When it's all painted, it's going to look nice. Right now, uh, the grains and the uh, different kind of woods that I used don't match up, but it, it'll all come together. Well, enjoy the ride, guys. God bless. One more thing, when I uh, put all the framing and trim in, 
I gave it a quarter inch inside all the way around as you can see here because I'm going to be putting a glass pane in there to give it a double insulation and that's it you know the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand the trim and sand the door a little bit and then uh, put a primer on it that's all that's all she wrote